Okay, for this one, I'm going to do um, uh, several uh, live walkthroughs um, for implementing and starting for a you know, our game. Um, and in this one, since we're using a library, I'm going to kind of walk through setting that up. I gave uh, resources for that of what you guys would need to use um, for plugging in the library. Um, and then, you know, we'll start kind of just adding and developing. So there'll be several videos that you guys could follow along if you end up falling behind on what we're covering in class. Okay, so um, the first thing that we're doing is we're going to be implementing uh, P5JS Play. There is a lot of cool stuff that we can do with this. Um, there are some bugs. It's not going to be perfect, but in terms of making a game in P5JS, this does help with some basic collision detection. This helps us managing our different animation states for, you know, actually having animations, um, uh, and to also do like a virtual camera. So that will make things a lot easier um, in our code. So if I was to open up here I have um, basically what what we're doing is you know we're we're initially creating uh, stuff that we need for a game so I have a character that can move and um, he can interact with different things and we're using this as p5js play to do this um, so when we're create a game even if it's top down you know forward facing if it's an infinite platform runner it doesn't really matter but um, we got to think of certain things. So I got to make sure that my player cannot go outside the bounds of the game. Um, I got to have them be able to interact. Now I have a camera. So if we notice when I'm moving over to the right, the camera is following the player uh, when we are, you know, within certain bounds. If I go down, the camera stops following when I go down or up. If I keep going to the right, once I get past about the halfway point and I'm like right at the edge, the camera stops moving. I can't, you know, go outside of this area. If I click and hold on the mouse, I am zooming in on my player in his world. The camera is following until we get close to the edge and it's not revealing past the edge. This is a good feature. This is what we want when we make a game. Okay, but we have to design for that. So I don't want, you know, to break that world that I'm trying to put in uh, for the players by showing them outside the bounds of my world. Okay, so when I'm zoomed in or doing anything, I want it to stop moving when we get past a certain point, and I want it to stay within the bounds. So I'm gonna have to design that, I'm gonna have to build all of those pieces. So uh, what we're doing is we're going to start setting this up. Um, not just this, the, this is just kind of doing, you know, basics so you guys can kind of understand the concept, but um, we need to add this P5JS Play, okay, uh, to implement it. Now, there is a lot of different resources, so this will be posted um, in the YouTube link and in, in class for you guys to be able to get access to. And we can click on the reference. This is the reference um, that we can use to reference anything that we're trying to do in here. Um, will give us insight about what methods are available, things that I can do for that. Um, we're going to, I'm going to give you guys a link to the actual code itself for P5JS Play just so that we can run it. Um, I have found it on his uh, GitHub page um, for us to be able to just link directly to this and plug it in, okay? So those links will be in there. Um, the first thing that we need to do is we need to copy this, okay? Um, so I have to add this script so that I have access to this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and copy, and then I'm going to come back to here. Now, normally, when we are looking at stuff, we normally do everything in the sketch. Sometimes we end up loading files um, here, but we're actually going to do quite a bit more. Um, so in order to do that, to, to be able to load libraries, to add new files, to build classes, all that stuff, we're going to end up playing around a lot with all of the individual sketch files. Okay, so whenever I have to do stuff, I need to use the uh, tab to open up stuff um, to load my files or folders or any of that stuff. Okay, um, to add a library though, we're going to want to click on this index.html. Now I'm going to open this up to make it a little bit easier. We already have, using P5.js, we already have 
uh, a script for loading P5.js. We already have a script loading the sound for P5.js. What we really need to do now is right underneath them, I am pasting the link that we just got from here, which I will have that as a link in the description. It's also in the class. Um, this. We are pasting directly to have that on there, okay? And we're going to use this to help build our stuff, okay? Um, and then whenever we add more classes, we really do have to think of the order, and we would have to make sure that it's properly loaded uh, in this HTML so that we can use them, okay? So whenever you make changes, if you see dots, go ahead and save. All right, so now we have it loaded. Um, into our stuff, now we need to start thinking about player creation. What is a player? Um, and in order to do this, I want to make sure that I am creating using a class structure. We know that we're probably going to end up having hitboxes and all of that fun stuff. So let's, um, let's stop the video right now, and then in the next video, um, we are going to be going into creating classes and talking about that. All right, good luck. Have